So I learned a valuable lesson about patience yesterday. So over the past couple of days, I've been making a watch and it's actually this one. Um, and it's finally complete. I got a whole bunch of parts. It took a while for me to get it. And then finally, as I got them, I realized some parts didn't fit. Then I had to wait even longer for new parts. And then when I got those parts, I prayed to God. I said, God, help me put this together smoothly. Well, that day that I prayed that, which was maybe two days ago, it didn't go smoothly. Um, I was actually missing a piece that I had unknowingly thrown out in the garbage. Well, needless to say, the next day, which was yesterday, I was able to finally build this whole thing. And I had like an instinct or some sort of thought occurred to me, which was I probably threw this out in the garbage. Like I have to look through the garbage. I have to find this. And I found the piece and I finally put the watch together. And it's not perfect. There's still a little bit more things I could do but it runs and it looks great. And it was my first time building a watch. And what I learned is a couple of things. Number one is patience. Even though I pray to God to help me do this thing, even though it's a small thing, and even though it's something you, we don't typically think of, or at least I don't typically think of praying about, uh, those little small things that you feel like, uh, you know, maybe God doesn't want to help me with this. I, just want to start involving God in everything I do. So I figured, why not? I could, this could probably go well. It didn't go well that day. But ultimately, if I would have been patient, looking back on it, it played out well. And it actually taught me a lesson about faith and patience. Being patient in the faith. Being patient with our prayers. And most importantly... Something that was coming to me as I was building this thing was no matter how perfect or close to perfect I was at building a watch by hand without the proper tools, it wasn't going to get done or it was going to be broken by the time it was finished. With the proper tools, I was able to do it. So also with the proper tools, we can walk on this faith. We're never going to be perfect at making the watch. We're never going to be perfect at the faith. Only Jesus was perfect. But with the right tools, with Jesus in our life, with prayer, with all of these things that benefit us, that scripture tells us about, with the right tools, we're able to walk on this journey of faith. We're able to take it on. We're able to keep learning more and more. We're able to start stepping out more in the faith that Christ gave us, the faith of Christ that we have, the Holy Spirit that we have in us. We're able to start to utilize. We're able to start to be patient also in that process. It may not take just a day. It may not take even months. It might take years, but it's important to know that process. It's important to know about patience, and it's important to know that we are not going to be perfect but we have tools that help us strive to that goal of perfection, which is Christ. So it's a little strange how I learned that lesson by building a watch. And I'll let you see it one more time. Uh, I don't know if this thing could properly zoom in on it. Let's see if I can get this here. Probably not, but it's nice and I like it. Um, and I'm just going to beat it up a lot um, because it's my first build. But anyway... I truly hope and pray that that little kind of revelation in a way makes sense, kind of helps you on your journey, on your faith walk. Um, and yeah, just felt like it was something that I needed to share since yesterday, but I didn't get around to making these this video um, yesterday. So, and that leads me to my next subject, being that I'm posting these videos daily or trying to, and you've been watching up until now, I would appreciate if you click that like button. And if you're not subscribed already and you've been watching up until now, you should probably hit the subscribe button because you might be enjoying these. I hope, I pray. But that's it for this video. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will see you in the next video.